Hi everybody and welcome back to the video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and we are continuing the NCT in November and I've reached a highlight within it because today we are going to be checking out the second most viewed video of NCT overall as we are back with more NCTU in the second of free catching up on NCTU videos. We will be checking out the second most viewed NCT music video Boss alongside Baby Don't Stop and Yesterday. That are the three songs for today's lineup. And yes, we're kicking off with Boss. I've been I've been dying to watch this. I've been wanting to check this one out for quite a while. Now we're ready to do most of one with a uh, Make a Wish birthday song a few months ago uh, for my birthday, and now we're here with the second most viewed NCT music video. 168 million views released back on February 18th, 2018, as part of the first NCT album. And let's look at the lineup. That is always the uh, most interesting thing about NCT. You might be because they mix around with subunits. But uh, funnily enough, back then we only had one to seven and Dream, and we. Basically, have five NCT 127 members with Taeyong, with Mark, with Jaehyun, with Dujong, and with Winwin. -win. So five from them, and then we had two debuts. Within this, we have Lucas who debuted here for this, and we had Jungwoo. Jungwoo wouldn't be a fixed member for 127 up until regular, which was later that year, and Lucas wouldn't be a fixed member up until Wavy, which was at the beginning of 2019. So basically, 127 plus two new debuts. These seven on paper already make for such a great combination and I'm insanely excited for this. The views don't lie, this needs to be something big, something special. Let's check it out. Let's kick off today's catching up on NCTU. NCTU boss music video. This, whoo, I'm ready on. Right, let's go. Oh yeah, okay. Jayong looks so good with the red hair. Jayong. Oh, Jayong. Very casual look for now. Jayong. Oh, very pre chorus. I love the, the Tony right now. Chorus, come on! Oh! Oh, the choreo! This photo music video isn't as big as I would have expected it. March! Oh my god! Yo, the aura of this song. Woo! Look at this! Oh, that look is awesome. Ooh. That was a sick debut verse right there. Damn. Vibe and aura of this sound is damn. It's so far away from the typical heavy stuff like like Kick It as example. There's something so atmospheric about this. Jomu. The vocal bits it sounds so great. This young and young is such a vocal dude, man. Stunning visual with the fire. Peace to me. Yo, this is freaking sick. Win-win! Also getting some center, but I think it was hit already. God damn. Now look at Snowbag in center. Ooh. Ooh. 
kicking us in the face! We're not done yet! Ooh. Oh, this choreo! Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> that was fire. That was fire. I would certainly say though, from the production, visually, I actually expected something very different. I thought we would be going all out here, but I think back then that just wasn't the case yet. Like I don't like if it really I think it took up until 2019 until we really got huge uh, music video productions for for NCT you know this was more casual from the from locations and whatnot but it was still extremely stunning with some great visuals here and there I mean we have seven visuals in this subunit or slash in this collab constellation so that was already like the music video was a lot of fun even though it was very different from what I expected but the, the style and the vibe and the, the the identity of this song is so sick. We have the title Boss, which already gives you so many feelings and so many ideas and, and just thoughts in your mind about what to expect. And this was just exactly what I would expect about a song called Boss. It was a boss track. The delivery, the flow, the aura. It wasn't high pace, energetic type of sound like we know it from Kick It as example, you know. It was such a methodical, slowly building up constellation of great vocals and insanely heavy delivery that made for such a banging song. I will jump into it again and point out things as we continue. But alone this beat. Dun, 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 dun. Such a heavy hitting EDM sound. And Taeyong opening, I mean it's a the flow already. Taeyong opens up. It's badass. Then Jaehyun comes in sick here, digging that hair on him. Then already pre chorus time. The Jun's vocals are crystal clean. The sound is awesome here, dude. Awesome pre-chorus. This pre-chorus sounds so good. And now, no, 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 boss. Oh, don't you know I'm a? Oh, the choreo man. Oh, don't you know I'm a? Oh, the first minute of the song is already bad. I mean, god damn. Taeyong and Taeyong open great. Taeyong's usual great delivery, you know, he just has that it factor in his voice and the way he pronounces stuff and whatnot. Taeyong comes in great with a vocal bit after that. Then Dujong does a gorgeous pre chorus. That pre chorus builds up this chorus so well, and the pre chorus doesn't even spike that much. No, it's not really explosive in that way, but it still goes so hard due to that. I mentioned it, um,. What did I recently had it was a good example, you know? It's a type of song that doesn't go hard because the sound itself is hard, but just because the way they deliver it. Don't you know that I'm a boss? No 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 Don't you know I'm a boss? That just has that has weight, you know? That's just mmm it hits so strong and then Mark Sound switching here a bit Ooh. Bit more quiet now which is Then Lucas That was a sick debut verse right there. He comes in and immediately has has its own aura and its own flavor and whatnot. One of the biggest, like I wouldn't say issues, but one of the major key things you need to have to stand out in NCT, which now has twenty three damn members, you need to have your own sound, your own flavor, your own your own everything. And Lucas had that straight away from his visual. He has a great look on him in general. His voice is very deep attitude and flavor in it the way he delivers the words and everything that was a sick opening verse from him though like debut words from verse from him that was sick <laughs> <laughs> 
좋아 나랑 묻지 또 다시 묶인 오다른 놀이 다른 놀이 저기 너의 보스 내가 뭐해 같이 고 싶다면 가주는 선택 나도 너와 내가 시선을 맞추게 바람지 man that's what I need you know me and back into the pre-chorus, Ju back at it. This song and Ju is such a gorgeous vocal group. They're vocal stars. The verses from Ju and Ju and from Mark and Lucas are sick. The pre-chorus is insane, and then boss. Na 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 na. Don't you know I'm a da na da da to the boss. I'm a. Oh, awesome! Awesome! Dan Jungwoo! The way the verses and the pre chorus and the bridge all sound so far away from another, it makes for such a great listening experience. This is Jung and Jungwoo beat you with the fire around them. Secondingly good. The vocals about it too. Then Mark and Taeyong back at it. The vibe of this is. Then win win. He obviously had the least shine and lines in this, as usual. It's sadly, it's sadly, you know, but. It's still awesome. The way he entered there, don't you know, boss? It still had some weight, at least for the for the visual of the song. Oh, Dennis, that's break bit too. Zomping us in the face, goddamn. Little fake ending bit. We get back into it again with more dance break. Sheesh. God damn, NCT U boss. I see why. I see why this has the second most views in NCT overall. Freaking badass and a great song as well. Like mentioned, it went visually not as hard as I thought it would, but sound wise and vibe wise, it still went absolutely damn. Open sick with Taeyong and Jaehyun. Gorgeous Dujong pre chorus. Great chorus. It has the melody to it, it has a rhythm to it, it has that. It factor too with the Dutch you know and I'm a boss bit. Then great second verse of Mark. Great first impression for Lucas. Jay Hewn's pre-chorus bit that was awesome too. Then again the chorus hits great. The bridge with Jung Woo with an incredible debut that way with Du Jung alongside it with that vision with the fire. Awesome. Win-win getting only one real moment within a music video. Like mentioned, it's a bit unfortunate. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm also kind of like... I'm bit, it's unfortunate that he isn't part of Intimo, uh, 2021 as well because he has too much to do in China. It's a bit unfortunate that he's basically stuck in that limbo where he is part of stuff but just doesn't get really anything to do. I mean, he's earning money nonetheless, so I guess that's good for him. But I feel like there's more to him than it's being showcased. But I guess there is a reason why uh, he does not get a lot of lights. But that's not for me really to judge. But either way, answer to you, boss. Nonetheless, a freaking banger. That thing hit, that thing was it, that thing was fire. Had a lot of fun with it, enjoyed it a lot. It was worth the wait and excitement to looking forward to it. And we now get into the second song, which is Baby Don't Stop. And this, the duo. Taeyong, I mean, I, I think Taeyong is NCT. Like, nobody empathizes and just represents NCT as much as he does. It's going to be... It's going to be painful when he... I think next year he'll have to leave for uh, military, right? I mean, it's not like we don't have enough other members to fill in his slot, but I will definitely miss him a lot. He's been an absolute favorite in every video I've reacted to from Entity. Taeyong, on site 10. Hell yeah. That is a combination that on paper already reads. Good. We got the vocals, we got the rap, we got the dance, we got everything in these two. And I've mentioned, I'm still a bit confused as to what 10 did there. Like, he, he was part of the OG5 from 216. But it took him nearly three years till he got a fixed unit. What did he do in between? Was he really doing Zola stuff? Or did they really just say, well, wait a bit. I mean, he was too old for Dream. But why didn't they put him in 1 to 7? You know, not really sure what was up with that. But either way, 
is in NCT nonetheless, so that's why it was part of NCT U. And now we got Taeyong and Tan for Baby Don't Stop, two of my favorites. This is going to be sick. Let's freaking go. Tan and Taeyong, Baby Don't Stop! Oh, again with this electronic sound. Oh! Ooh. This is too smooth already. Oh, stunning visual here. Ooh. This is insanely sexy. It's whispering, delivery, the dancing, damn. Ooh. It sounds great too! Mm. I love that hair on him! That color suits him so much! These two are too smooth together, what the fuck? Beat again is fire. Their voices harmonize so well together. Taeyong has generally a way deeper voice and tone, and then is so, something so soothing about it and so bright. This hits. This hits on every note. Ooh. Two of Entity's best dancers just flexing together. I mean, what could you not love? Ooh. I feel like it's. I feel like the lyrics would be. I can already see where the lyrics would maybe be going. Let's put in the double time casually, I mean, why not? Mm. Yo, this makes me want to dance. It's so much fun to watch and listen to. These two are just so good together. Ooh. Oh, the dancing man! This is a pleasure for the eyes and ears. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but like, since I got into K-pop, I would just be honest with that. Some of these guys have really been making me question things, you know? Because like, ooh, god damn. That was insanely sexy in every aspect, from the sound to the music video. Like mentioned, the music video was basically just two of Entity's best dancers just... Just owning it. These two are just a fantastic duo. And it was great to see more of them in Super M together. Still, it's actually something funny. I, I think I've mentioned it before. One month ago, I wanted to upload my two other Super M reactions. Couldn't, because they got blocked. So I... Disputed them. And when the thing runs out, I can just then upload them. And it was this week, actually. And I wanted to then upload that. And um, there was Tiger Inside and One Month of Infinity. And I did that. But unfortunately, because when I disputed it, it said it's not blocked anymore. So I did try it already, but so... Oh, it's not. It doesn't work. It means I privated it again. Then waited a month. And then I unprivated it again. And then I checked my channel, didn't see it either, and it was released or like shown as released three weeks ago. So in other words, due to my own stupidity, y'all gotta wait 30 more days so you can then finally see my Super M reaction. Sorry for that, but yeah, 
kind of reminded me now because seeing these two together more often super m was already sick and now seeing them here together uh in this uh nctu song is awesome maybe you don't stop tan young and tan the song itself like mentioned i can already imagine how the lyrics can be going maybe you don't stop whispering da, 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 da. it's only catch melody though maybe you don't stop da, 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 da. baby don't stop it was just a vibe that i couldn't get out of i was just moving myself all the way through i was just so amazed by the visuals and by the dancing that came with it Ooh, ooh, this was it was everything you could you could ask for from a from a ten young collab basically the different outfits ten young's red hair looks awesome the way they harmonize together like mitch young has something very deep in his in his voice flavor why ten is something more more bright and more calming basically so it's a great opposite to another making for such a great combination the dancing, the vocals, the delivery, the song, the sound, the visuals, everything. This was sick. You know, Entity's best in my opinion. Generally though, Entity has no bad, you know. But they're somewhere, I'd obviously say, like, I think these are like top tier. Like, not in Entity alone, but over SM, over K-pop in general. I would definitely put these two very high uh, on the list of NCT and in general of K-pop. These two are just the full package all the way through and this was fun. This was insanely awesome. NCTU, baby don't stop. This is going to be a lot of fun on real listens. Ten and Taeyong, insane awesome duo, insanely talented. They brought that talent to the table. They had a lot of fun with that, enjoyed it a lot. Let's move on to our third and final NCTU song for today, which was also part of the 2018 Empathy album, which is Yesterday. And this one features... Again, Taeyong, Mark, Yujung, and Lucas. So we have, again, Triple NCT 127 slash Dream for, for Mark, and Lucas back at it as well. Making it a four or sub unit this time. Not sure actually why this has such little views, because the names are, are big. We have one of the best NCT vocalists, with Lucas who makes a second debut basically here, like a second appearance. Then obviously two of the pillars of NCT with Mark and Taeyong. This should be freaking damn good. Excited. Answer to you yesterday. Third video after this catching up on video. Let's go. Yeah. Horns about it, box down. Box down. Tail opening is just. Not feeling anymore. Oh, but this. She may got a count, Jordan's a count going down. That's a very different vibe. Like, man, I love that hair on him a lot. Oh, is this going to be a one take? Never mind. Would have been cool. Oh, but. Oh. Oh. This song is awesome! God damn! Tell you all like casually admitted in already. Okay, the music video is weird. Like it's very unusual. I guess it was just a bonus, but ooh. God damn! My man just does a song! Where is this a Taeyong solo? Am I missing something? Never mind, here we go! Ooh. This is a very interesting music video, it's very unusual. I guess it's because it's a B-side, not official release, but... The sound of us. Okay. Oh, I love his flow on this. It's such a different environment for, for rap, but it just suits so much. All the hip hop vibes. This is so smooth. The show back with the vocals. I guess it's not as big because the music video just isn't that flourish, you know, but it's so. Same for right, Lucas? 
Do you always cry when it rains? When the pains come in shame, but the fame is a chain and I'm born to remain. But the cost of fate, I got quickly to shame. Every quickness you hate. Oh, well, this like instrumental though. Burning like a hard case when you said I was wrong. Even if there's a right, now I can only dream about you holding me tight. Can you hold me tight? Woo! I love the sound of this so much. It like it feels hip hop in the verses. It goes actually more into I can't I can't I'm not sure what the genre is, but I I love the sound. This room's vocals in this song. Oh, and the lengthy outro too. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Yo. What the hell? I, I, I first of all, I really want to check right now what, what genre would this be categorized. Because like, there's something, there's something about the sound of this that I... Damn, what? NCTU yesterday. Uh, uh, uh. Not yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. God damn. Uh, John. Can't type. Genre. Hip hop and pop. Okay. Either way, because you, Google doesn't want to give it to me, it has something. It has something jazzy about it. You know, the way the instrument goes. It has something so playful about it, and something so intimate that i really really love it's something so casual about it too like mentioned this music video is very different like mentioned it's, it's, uh, that's probably the reason why it's not as viewed as uh, some of the other songs and entity you in general i think entity you generally had some of the most viewed entity songs uh, simply because the music video quality isn't that big it's it's Pretty weird, yeah, I think you can call it weird with the colors and the choices and whatnot, but I like the sound nonetheless. It's something different, you know, it's a different uh, viewing experience. But from the sound and from the song itself, this is this is so cool. Like mentioned, I first thought I, I made a mistake and this is a Taeyong solo because my man just didn't want to stop. That was an insanely long opening verse, you know, but he owned that. It was such a different flavor from him as well, you know, usually he goes for the very badass rap or whatnot but he went for very chill and and comfortable um delivery and the way he i don't know there was such a cool sound from him not use i'm not used that uh, way like which i've now listened to um like lava holly from earlier this year and through the most recent album and even there i didn't hurt taeyong in such such uh you know in such direction that was cool it was really damn cool i really like to to hear him in such way in such slow talking like manner you know Especially for such a long time. It's like he was telling a story. Do we have English subtitles actually? Oh, never mind. So, okay, it didn't miss anything. But <sighs> the sound of this was. This continuous drum set with the bass kicking all the way through, but rather soft actually. Mm -hmm. this, is, this sounds so good. Like mentioned, my man didn't want to stop. He really had freaking 1 minute and 20 seconds, but it's okay because the rest got stuff as well. But then the zone kicks in, does a chorus three times, his vocals there sound awesome. His vocals are so smooth. And then Mark's verse, which was all the old school hip hop vibes. This really reminds me of something from the 2000s. I don't know why, this gives you some old school western hip hop vibes. It's awesome. You know, this type of soothing, jazzy type of sound in the beat, but this very high paced drum set to give it the tempo and energy nonetheless. The vibe of this is everything. Na, na, na. And then the show with the bogus here. This is great. Jaeyoung has such a lengthy opening bit that sounds awesome. Yujong's chorus sounds heavenly. Mark's rap verse was full on old school hip hop vibes. And Lucas comes in. 
Taking out the face and jumps for a moment. Look at Sketch more sentimental moment here, you know. Not that heavy compared to the others. They completely jumped out the jumps for him. They really let this be like an atmospheric ending bit. Also, again, more talking instead of rapping. That was so cool. I love the vibe and style of this. From the sound to the music video. There's something so retro and old school about it. Everything and everything. It sounds old school, it looks old school, it feels old school. Such a cool song, man. All four harmonized well together. It was basically three verses and three choruses. And it was awesome. Deserves to be used, seriously. Hey, 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 hey. Then a lengthy outro too. Holy shit, this is this is everything. What the fuck? Hell yeah. And to see you yesterday. Glad I added that to my list because I think I will definitely be listening to this a lot in the upcoming days. That was cool. That was absolutely awesome. And to see you yesterday. For absolute incredible artists for that made for such a great combination, like mentioned, it's basically three verses and you're doing the chorus for time spot. That told that was totally enough for me. It was just a very lengthy, old school type of sound and feeling. And it sounded awesome. That was so damn cool. And see you yesterday. Taeyong, Mark, Lucas, Dejong, every Mark Taeyong, Mark, Lucas, Dejong. Everybody owned their part, everybody owned the verse, and made for such a great song. Great way to wrap up today's catching up on video. That was insanely much fun. I enjoyed all the free songs we checked out today. I hope you enjoyed my reactions. If you did, let me like down below to show me that you did. Which of the songs we checked out today is your favorite? Is it Boss? Is it Baby Don't Stop Me? Is it Yesterday? Tell me all about it down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you want to support me, then you can gladly leave a sub as well or support me on Patreon. It would help me a lot. We see each other again with more NCT on Sunday. They will be uh, having our second and third and overall last catching up on NCT 1 to 7. We'll be having the likes of... Uh, Wakey Wakey, How Would You Heaven, Superhuman, and Punch, I think. So that's also a great lineup. Then on Monday, we're already back. The day after with Wavy, with three songs of them, with Love Talk, Bad Life, and um, Turn Back Time. So we have so much great NCT content coming up. Then next week again, Dream, more NCT Hue. Then finally, the 2018-2020 bit to wrap it up. And then we, in December, are going uh, to be checking out last year's album as well. So we have so much great NCT content coming up. So much other great content as well. So whatever content you may be interested in, but whatever content you may want to in for, obviously against it on the show stay safe have been happy have a great time have a great weekend and see you again on sunday with the entity november thanks for watching